Not so fast, Roach. Centipede spawning ground. Should destroy it. We... Uh, I... Thank you. Why are you here, Witcher? Oh. Out of more hills, Vilma. It will be better than fight. I must insist, Calvin. It will be much, much the safer with us inside. If I were to put up my wife, this heard you calling. Wanted to talk? I did. For we're neck deep in trouble, of the spider kind. Need a maid with a broom, not a witcher. You fail to understand. These are huge, the size of pigs or dogs, black and hairy, spewing webs. Mm-hmm. Not talking about spiders, then. Talking about arachnomorphs. Call them what you will. You must smash the rogues, will you? Those caves would be prime barrel storage were it not for the beasts. First things first. Need to talk about my reward. Not far now, we find ourselves a hair from agreeing. Not far now. I knew we would agree terms. 
Arachnomorphs don't look much like bunnies, but they sure breed like them. Best nip the problem in the bud. I'll look into it. That Gwent will be the end of me. I've lost again. I'm going to save with my hands. Watch your stones. That Gwent will be the end of me. Lads. I find your concern touching, I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladar, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilmar. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me arse in my stead. My guards lament, witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me, should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, the Paristysomac. It, uh, it captures, uh... Likenesses. A pair of sister what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more, yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive.
Sublime! We've a deal! Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's oh, deliverance geez. to emerge oh, from under their I wings. Believe me, they're overprotective. Uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife. Preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? I have no other recourse. I do not wish to be sick.
Drink! Give me a drink! I'm going to save with my hands! Watch your stones! Any tightings? All taken care of. Went inside and cleaned up. Thank the gods! And you too, of course. Time I an excellent day for capturing moons. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Damn, 
poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Panther got caught instead. Will you help them up? Give it a shot. Another calmer first. You could have lunge at us otherwise. A superb image. Fuck all witches heartless. This will put the light in it. Oh my! I, I failed to warn you! Apologies! The Paris Dyson Act has now been tested! Look away or it'll be fine! Didn't intend to, believe me. Was worried about your safety. It's why you hired me, isn't it? Uh, I suppose you're right. Let's move on. But this time, be more cautious, please. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? See that? Soil's been turned over recently. Smells of fresh peat, too. Shh. Hear him? It's those... Uh... Centipedes. Giant. Underground tunnel burrowers. Make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Wait! We were to find a safe place for me first! Blast it! I see you're simply unreliable. find a place where I would have a good view. Instead, you ran into their lair. Sorry, got carried away. An excellent... Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I have one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself. 
and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering, why peacocks? My... my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. A feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. Getting close. Oh, that's lovely. Now, if they could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready? Use your magic, Witcher. Smile, please! Watch out! Giant centipedes! But you killed them already! Clearly not all. Get back! was tense. Uh, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. What a wonderful adventure. Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? His last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I thank you for your efforts. Yet I must admit I expected just a bit more from the famed White Wolf. There you are. He agreed some. Now, do forgive us. There are things we must tend to. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks.
Am I invisible? Quite the fragrant whiff. Ah, uh, scoundrel! Ooh. Sir! Sir! A letter for you, sir! Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. surface again. My dear Geralt. I hope all is well. I imagine you hot on the trail of some nasty monster. Or is it an overly complex curse this time? Oh, Geralt, I wish I knew for certain. Whatever is keeping you busy, perhaps you'll need a break. For those moments, I offer you this intriguing little mystery I happened on in an old manuscript I bought off a merchant from Nazaire. The tome's author claims a certain Professor Moreau, once called Beauclair Home, and this professor conducted research into witcher mutations. I don't know much else, but I suspect that alone might pique your interest. The tome mentioned a journal interred with the scholar when he passed. It could very well lead you to his laboratory. I'm enclosing a map I found folded in the tome. It's smudged in a few places, but I hope it proves useful anyway. Please be careful and come back to me quickly. Your Triss. Hmm. The professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into.
best cure for the beast, a witcher. <laughs> nice tune. Lax oh. LV. Might be worth looking into. Something I do often, but might be worth investigating. It's nothing, really. How's the man? The best steel in all of Tucson. Take a gander. Show me what you have. Farewell. No, see you later.
are the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Ah! Have I gone absolutely cuckoo? Selling all dirt cheap? wonders at the annual chivalric tourney. Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. Valiant knights from all corners of the world will vie for the title of tourney champion. Tickets still available, but certain to run out quickly. Sir Knight, beware of head crumbs. Removing your helmet once daily helps prevent ailments of the skull. To be honest, every last man Jack can prepare to witness wonders at the annual chivalric tourney. Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. Valiant knights from all corners of the world will vie for the title of tourney champion. Tickets still available, but certain to run out quickly. The top do this season. A coif beyond compare from the friseur Jean-Louis Ludovic. The latest in cuts and styles in the Coviri court fashion. Jean-Louis Ludovic, for the ladies, for the gentlemen, northern fashions to suit the southern style. Prepare to witness wonders at the annual chivalric tourney. Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. Valiant knights from all corners of the world will vie for the title of tourney champion. Tickets still available, but certain to run out quickly. Open house at the Beauclair chapter of the Transnational Flagellants Club. All are invited. Until ah, you taste of the wit. Perhaps you'll stay longer. To be honest, Prepare to witness wonders at the annual chivalric tourney. Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. Valiant knights from all corners of the world will vie for the title of tourney champion. Tickets still available, but certain to run out quickly. A friendly reminder from the Beauclair Cooper's Guild. Oakwood barrels, the best barrels around. Special discounts on purchases of ten or more. Prepare to witness wonders at the annual chivalric tourney. Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. Valiant knights from all corners of the world will vie for the title of tourney champion. Tickets still available, but certain to run out quickly. Count Borges de Salfares cordially invites all to attend a lecture regarding the extinction of rare species and the dangers this represents to the natural order. Admittance free of charge! To be honest, every last man Jacques in these parts has but wine and women on the brain. Prepare to witness wonders at the annual chivalric tourney. Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. Valiant knights from all corners of the world will vie for the title of tourney champion. Tickets still available, but certain to run out quickly. Citizens, Beauclerois, Toussaintois, wherever you are, you are kindly reminded that by decision of the city council, you are requested to refrain from spilling sewage into the streets of the Hauteville between 10 o'clock in the morning and 8 at night. To be honest, every last man Jacques in these parts has but wine and women on the brain. Arc Beauclerois, her most gracious duchess, has hired a witcher 
to get at the root of these murders. Every resident of our fair town is hereby required to aid the Witcher in any way he requests. Open house at the Beauclair chapter of the Transnational Flagellants Club. All are invited. Ah, taste of the whip. Perhaps you'll stay longer. Truthfully, only a Witcher stands to best the beast. Prepare to witness wonders at the annual chivalric tourney. Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. Valiant knights from all corners of the world will vie for the title of tourney champion. Tickets still available, but certain to run out quickly. A friendly reminder from the Beauclair Cooper's Guild. Oakwood barrels, the best barrels around. Special discounts on purchases of ten or more. To be honest, every last man Jacques in these parts has but wine and women on the brain. Prepare to witness wonders at the annual chivalric tourney. Ah, Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. Valiant knights from all corners of the world will well, vie for the title of tourney well champion. Tickets still feet. available, but certain to run out quickly. Count Borges de Salfares cordially invites all to attend a lecture regarding the extinction of rare species and the dangers this represents to the natural order. Admittance free of charge. Only my spirit as willing as my flesh is Prepare to witness wonders. Greetings. A wit of the school of the wolf. Here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarque. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for Witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them? Never seen any though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get him yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. <laughs> 